The main goal of LifeShare is to save lives and inspire hope. We do that through coordinating organ donation, tissue donation, and driving research. Um, the organization is designed to be able to be nimble and to grow in the organ procurement space, in the tissue donation space, and in the development of technology and innovations. We've been able, through our innovations program, to partner with a number of researchers on some really exciting project work. Some things that really could change the face of donation and transplantation in the coming years. Our accomplishment of being the first OPO to utilize ex vivo perfusion to recover, preserve, and get uh, a lung block to a transplant center for transplant was an incredible accomplishment. LifeShare is the first organ procurement operation to own and operate normothermic machine perfusion for both liver and lungs. In 2022, LifeShare became the first OPO to independently recover, cannulate, and perfuse a liver that went on to transplant. We quickly followed this by our success in lung perfusion in 2023 with the first set going to transplant. At LifeShare, the future possibilities for organ procurement are endless. Through innovation and technology, we aim to increase the number of organs available for transplant. Donation has increased in the state of Oklahoma pretty significantly in the last five to 10 years. Um, really in the donation after circulatory death space, we see the biggest growth opportunity still today. Our OPO leads the nation in that space. About 50% of our donors this year are donation after circulatory death donors. I think we'll continue to see our organ donor number rise significantly. And we believe that as an OPO, if we're innovating and investing in technologies, we can also help to reduce the number of non-utilized organs that are donated. Our RED program, or Research Exclusive Donation, is a donation program that's for organ donors who have been ruled out for donation for transplant, oftentimes because of malignancy. In the state of Oklahoma, unfortunately, we have one of the highest incidents of lung cancer. Partnering with our researcher partners, we believe with them that those donated organs, while they can't go on to transplant, they hold the answers to the disease that's taking their life. Patients in, uh, that are dying of, of diseases that we don't yet have cures for can create uh, um, legacy in the form of being a part of the solution moving forward so that their fight can continue past the time when, when unfortunately they've passed away. And so the, through the Research Exclusive Donation Program, what we do is um, once those donors pass away, we're able to recover their organs and do groundbreaking research that is focused specifically on the diseases that took their life. So it's a chance to do a, a, effectively a clinical trial um, that, that carries their fight forward and is a new kind of clinical trial, one where there isn't a patient at risk. And so the understanding and the lessons that we can learn go way deeper than what a traditional clinical trial would do. So I think research exclusive donation has the potential to be completely transformative, not just in our donation uh, and transplantation community, but really in, in all of medicine. Using the data that we had available at LifeShare, we realized that we were missing opportunities within the Native American community, the Black community, and the Hispanic community. Through digital marketing and Google ads and social media ads and geofencing capabilities, we were able to focus attention specifically on Native American owned buildings in Oklahoma. And through that, um, we were able to reach a larger population of Native Americans for that campaign. We're using the same method to encourage registrations among Black Americans and Hispanic Americans um, and encouraging them to register based on our social media and digital marketing efforts. The results of our digital marketing campaign was first with um, the Native American population. And with that, we saw a 2% increase of referrals in the Native American population um, over the next two years after the campaign. It's so important to sign up to be an organ donor because the list is great, the need is great, and I think it's one of the unique opportunities we as humans have at the end of our life to be able to give back to someone that is in need of a life-saving organ and really impact future generations because it's not just the one recipient, it's the recipient's family and for generations can be changed because of a donated gift.
We see our opportunities to continue to drive the utilization of donated organs in a way that has never maybe before been explored through using some of these technologies, but we can't do it alone, and so we're partnering with others in our community, transplant centers and researchers to understand how we can impact and improve the utilization and maximize the number of lives that we as an organ procurement organization are able to save. Our vision is, is to build on the foundation we now have and provide excellence in care to not only our organ donor population and the people who receive our organs uh, through the various preservation technologies and things that we're using, but also to become a resource to other parts of the country that could benefit from our experience and our ability to support.